Hi everybody and welcome to the Yotso Tech Tracks YouTube channel. I'm Yotso and um, I would like to run you through my quick, simple, easy um, push-pull leg workout routine that I'm starting right now this week. Um, my schedule is a little bit different than most weeks so I don't think I'll be able to come to the gym for five days in a row which I do perform instead of this routine. I actually prefer that one but again this week is a little bit of a weird schedule for me so I know for sure Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday um, I'll be able to come down here. So I'm thinking about doing a push-pull leg workout because I prefer doing these major uh, movements slash uh, exercises about twice a week which is it's mostly recommended by experts and uh, just uh, anybody who has any experience with this kind of uh, a hobby. So I'm going to be doing a push exercise today which for a half an hour window because that's pretty much all the time I have at home um, usually three four five days a week I do devote about half an hour to this kind of an exercise I enjoy it and it's my hobby and uh, I found I can do that consistently for half an hour so I tried to figure out what I can get away with as far as getting the maximum effort out of it in that little half an hour window and Today is going to be the first 15 minutes of a flat bench press push and then I'm going to be doing my version of a kind of a Viking press. Uh, basically this is a simple power rack um, I got years ago and it's, it's worked out great. It's not expensive, just basic equipment as far as a couple of plates, Olympic barbell, um, dip bar attachments I use sometimes. Um, I have a good pair of shoes, a weightlifting belt, a pad for my uh, back squats. I don't really use that but some people like it. And uh, that's basically it. Nothing special, nothing expensive, just a good quality uh, piece of piece of gear just to keep you safe. The bars are, of course, uh, adjustable for safety because no matter what you want to do, safety is number one. Uh, once again, I'm not a professional. This is just my hobby. This is uh, what I like to do in my free time. Uh, I'm just showing everybody something to think about, something to maybe get into because uh, it is a really fun hobby to be able to to find your, your limits and to try to overcome those limits as far as um, a slow progressive uh, increase in what you're capable of. Um, the second half of my today's routine is going to be an overhead press but uh, if you ever seen some of my other videos I do get into uh, my limitations because I'm about 5'10 and my ceiling is just a little over 6 feet in the basement. It is a, a short ceiling so I would like to do a standing overhead press. Actually, my favorite exercise is um, the clean and press, but it's not possible here. In the summertime, I do take uh, some of this equipment outside in my backyard. So in good weather days and uh, when I do have time for it, I like to do a proper clean and press outside, which I don't have a problem because you have unlimited headroom. So today I'll be doing my version of a Viking press, which is basically I have a landmine attachment that um, basically bolts to the bottom of this squat rack, power rack, and it's just an anchor point where the bar goes into, and it's just a pivot point so the bar doesn't get away from you. Something for you to push against and be able to uh, just do some presses. So I'll put a link into that. It's very inexpensive, $20, $30 from Amazon, I got it. And for the first half, I'll be doing bench press, and the second half, I'll be doing my version of an overhead press, which is kind of a modified Viking press. I don't have a Viking bar attachment, I'm going to get one of those because I feel it's a little bit more proper form for myself but right now I'll just be holding the bar and pressing it alternating my grips and um, once again um, this is my half an hour workout routine for this week it's going to be a push pull leg and repeat or one more full body workout on the weekend just so I get these major lifts about twice a week I do like to perform from my other videos I've gone into basically the human movements. There are five, six, seven, depends, but I prefer to look at the five major ones as far as the push, the pull, the hip hinge movement, um, the squat, and the carry. So for the push exercises, the major ones I look into is the bench press and the overhead press. The pull, I do like to do rows, uh, like a T-bar row, uh, pull-ups. The hip hinge, I do just a standard deadlift uh, from uh, from the ground level. Um, the squat, I like to do back squats or front squats or even uh, both of them back to back. And the carry, I do 
uh, my own version of a farmer walk. There's another video I put up about making your own farmer handles. If you guys want to check it out, it's on the website. It's really inexpensive and uh, it's all you need. I made it myself for a couple of bucks and saves hundreds of dollars of getting uh, professional handles. But I don't, again, want to spend too much money on this kind of thing. It's just a hobby, but if something I have to buy, I buy. If not, I make it myself. Why not? So uh, I'm going to be starting my half an hour workout once again with my simple stopwatch. I don't like to play with the phone too much because it's a bit of a distraction and uh, I try not to play around with that when I'm concentrating on this. Um, let me get started and uh, half an hour is going to start right about now. Let me put some more plates on. That was just a simple warm up. I'm going to be doing a couple of drop sets. So uh, today for me, I would like to start with uh, a warm up. Um, the weight of the bench press, I'm going to increase it a little bit and then I'm going to remove weight slowly to uh, basically drop the weight, which is why it's called a drop set. I'm at one minute, so plenty of time for a couple of sets. I like to get into the, the 5 to 10 uh, rep range, which uh, depends on the day because a lot of it has to do with your stress level, your diet, your uh, eating habits. Recovery is a major issue. Some days you feel up to it, some days you don't. I don't try to push myself because again, I want to be able to be ready for the next day. So a little bit every day for me works. That's just personally me. I'm also keeping an eye on the clock because uh, once again about 15 minutes I'm going to be doing this and for the other 15 minutes it, it'll be an overhead press for today's push day. I was just able to do four on that one, but that's okay.
again from uh, from uh, looking back I do I like to basically do these two major exercises for the push day for example bench press today and overhead press after but the next time if I do this routine again I switch the routine around I start with the overhead press and the bench press after so uh, you're always fresh for one exercise because after the, the bench press fatigues you it's not that easy to do an overhead press so I always switch it up I'm at five minutes so uh, I'll be doing a couple more I don't like to rest too much between these sets because by the time I drop the weight and move these plates around, it does actually give you a little bit of rest time. So uh, that's how I break up the 15 minute window. I do get a little bit of rest, but because the weights are getting are getting less, it accounts for your uh, your natural fatigue because of the weights. You're getting tired, so the weights drop, you should be able to do the next set of exercises uh, with a lower, lower weight. It's a bit of a hustle but it's uh, still a lot of fun because uh, roughly 30 seconds rest time to one minute rest time between the next uh, the next set is pretty good as I said the weight is going down so uh, it's no trouble I could do more but that's okay because uh, this is day one By the way, um, after every set, I'm roughly taking off uh, 10 pounds, 5 pounds, 5 pounds from each each side. So I have to juggle back and forth because I do have a couple of 45, 35s, and 25 plates, and a couple of 10s and a 5. So after a while, the big plates come out, the smaller ones go on, but that's okay. I'm at 9 minutes, so uh, I'll do a couple more.
roughly 10 minutes. So in a couple of minutes, I'll be uh, thinking about setting up for the overhead press, which again, 15 minutes for the first half is pretty much, it's a good exercise for the first set. Couple more. My goal is to get down to a couple of 45 plates with nothing else on it, but that depends on the time and uh, on my fatigue, honestly. Hopefully two more. As I said before, for me, these drop sets are really fun. I really like to drop the weight down and performing the next set without too much of a rest because you do get a really good workout out of it. minutes so uh, let me take these off and do one or two more sets Okay, 13 minutes. I'm gonna do one more set and then uh, I'm going to set up for my overhead press. From time to time I do alter these exercises up as I mentioned. I do like clean and press but low ceiling heights means uh, that's impossible. What I do also prefer is a seated overhead press. I do my version of kind of a kneeling overhead press which is uh, something that basically you're supporting yourself with your knees and your legs I'll show you guys that uh, next time if you have issues like I do it's a really good way to kind of uh, get your get your abdomen into the exercise too because uh, standing is always preferred but you can only do what you can do with the equipment and uh, uh, available uh, room Okay, I'm at 14 minutes, so I'll stop right now. I don't usually take these exercises down to complete failure because uh, it's not something I prefer to do, but uh, everybody's different on that. So let me set up uh, for my overhead press. I won't be needing the bench.
I do sometimes perform a parallel bar dips for the push exercise, but I would personally rather concentrate on two exercises if I have a half an hour time. I find it's better than always readjusting the equipment and the space and moving benches and plates around. It's a little bit of a, an issue if you're concerned with time. So for myself, I try to look at two, at least two major exercises I can do and get a really good, uh, get a really good workout out of those two. Okay, I'm at roughly 15 minutes, 50 seconds, so I'm roughly halfway. I'm happy with the time and I'm going to start right now. Just a warm up for me. minutes which is pretty much where I want to be right now it's roughly halfway so uh, for the first day for this push day I'm pretty gonna gonna be happy with the results because uh, nothing much more I can do in the half an hour window if I want to concentrate on these two exercises I have to pretty much uh, go from one exercise to the other and call it quits As I mentioned, there's one piece of equipment that's really good for this, which is a Viking press attachment. Basically, it's a, it's a bar with handles that you can get a really good arm position. Because you may or may not notice, but it is kind of awkward to be holding the bar because you're always kind of uh, not balanced because the hand positions cannot both go in the same spot. But uh, for my equipment and my uh, limited available resources I have for this, it's perfectly good for me. I'm at 18 minutes, so roughly 10 more minutes of this, and uh, that'll be my day one of my push-pull leg routine that I do. Again, I'm doing drop sets on this. I'm roughly taking off five pounds or whatever comes off easily. comes off and a 10 and two fives go on which will make the next uh, couple of sets easier because I won't have to readjust the, the bigger weights too much the problem only problem with my my version of this is because the more plates you put on 
the less room I have for my hand grips. But uh, again, that's where that overhead press Viking attachment comes in, which is actually really useful because uh, you can put on more weights and you can have a better, more ergonomic arm placement for symmetry on your body, left and right side. I'm roughly at 20 minutes, 30 seconds, so I'm going to do my next set right now. take 30 seconds to catch my breath and I'll do the next set. If I know that my week is going to be broken up from a personal point of view like this week, I do keep a track of the weights I put on the plates and if I can accomplish my goal which is whatever number 5 to 10 I set myself for each, each set of exercises I do increase the week next week for uh, progressive overload, as they say, just to be able to always, always, always uh, outperform yourself the, the week before, and that's how you that's how you grow. That's how you get stronger at something. just over 22 minutes so uh, so far so good As I mentioned before, for me, the good thing about taking out the weights too, as you get fatigued, you get tired, you don't want to lose the bar, but because there are less weights, less plates on the end, I do have a larger area which I can hold and I can feel more comfortable without having to worry about dropping the weight down and maybe hurting myself. As mentioned before in some of my other videos, I have trouble uploading something longer than about 10-15 minutes, so uh, I'm going to be trying something new. I just wanted everybody to see just a real life demonstration of what you can do in half an hour. It's nothing, nothing back breaking, it's nothing difficult, it's just you give yourself a challenge and you set your mind to it and it's not too much to do. I look at two 15 minute windows, which is really something super easy, super simple. Half an hour is probably too much for some people to grasp, to grasp, but if you break it down to two 15 minute windows, it's really quick, easy, fun, and uh, time goes by just like that. I'm roughly at 25 minutes. I don't want to take off any more weight because I do want to get some effort out of it. 
I feel I'm okay with this now, even after getting a little bit tired from other presses and doing a couple of sets of these. But uh, I guess whatever makes people happy, whatever weight you're comfortable with, again, the weights are not really a big deal. It's about giving a challenge to yourself because there's always somebody stronger, there's always somebody bigger. So it's, it's nonsense to compare yourself to somebody else. It's basically to challenge yourself and to overcome your own obstacles, your own hurdles. What you didn't think you can do one time, you'll be able to do if you slowly, slowly increase the weights and work towards that goal. about three more minutes I think I'll be doing three more sets and then because as I mentioned my goal is to just uh, give half an hour to these workouts today which is something most people have in their free time you know everybody has half an hour here and there it just depends on what you do with your time again I'm not a professional this is my hobby but it's a really really good and cool hobby to get into it's it's great for everything else in your life as far as better sleep more energy during the day um, just a better healthier longer hopefully lifestyle for everybody out there so uh, this is just my take of it but it's it's something that I've gone into a couple of years ago and I I wouldn't go without it if I don't if I don't come down and do a couple of sets of exercises I'm really not happy anymore I just I really enjoy coming down as soon as most people start doing this kind of thing you, you won't want to stop minutes and again in the half an hour window I do I do uh, allow for my warm-up sets moving the weights around putting everything away because I don't leave anything on the floor I like to tidy up everything uh, leave it the way I found it basically so uh, in that half an hour I do get a couple of good exercises in for myself I do get a good satisfaction out of it and I still leave time for tidying up, putting everything away, make sure everything is safe, out of the way, and uh, half an hour is still achievable. <sighs> 28 minutes, I'll do one more set. And then I'm okay with today's uh, today's workload. It was fun, energetic, and uh, hopefully I'll come back next week if I'm still doing this routine again, depending on my schedule, and I'll be uh, increasing the weights a little bit. And once again, if I don't meet those goals, I try to re-attack it the next week. But uh, if I do, I just increase the weight slowly, not much, just a couple of pounds here and there. minutes so I'm gonna call it a day if I wasn't recording this video I would just tidy everything up and roughly my half an hour window is uh, pretty pretty much as what I wanted it to be I'm going to stop the watch um, stay tuned tomorrow if you're interested in more again I try to keep these things really simple really easy like most people out there I'm not a professional this is just my version of it safety is always the number one before you do any exercise Consult a doctor, a lot of things depending on your age, your health, your physiology, your genetics. It's uh, always important to do those things, but uh, in half an hour per day, it's really not too much to ask and uh, you get a really good kick out of it. I do. So uh, thank you. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Hopefully, I'll see you next time in the Yotso Tech Tracks YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Bye.